Hi folks, this is my video log for the 18th of February 2015, it's Wednesday, and uh, I've decided to put a little compilation which uh, some of my archaeological students will appreciate and some of my friends about a little bit of the archaeological work from uh, 2014. Um, just a little bit of snippet of the archaeology with Archaeology Cymru and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. So just like to say today I decided to spend um, the day inside and uh, get on top of things and I thought I thought maybe I should uh, before I delete lots of my old videos um, I'm going to use them so you'll see various compilations over the next few weeks. So here goes the Archaeology Cymru and some archaeological snippets from 2015. Let's start off with a favourite beast that you all know, um, a goat. This is a Christmas present painting from my daughter Bethan for, from the 5th of January 2014. Hope you, hopefully you'll like this little video. This video was filmed by John, he's a good friend of mine and he's gone on the expedition to Orkney. Filmed this one at Monk Nash as you will see. This This is Carl James Langford for Archaeology Camry at Monk Nash. I'm at a spot where I was a few months ago and I reported human bones being eroded out of the kith site. The Mona Gwent Archaeological Trust who's got responsibility for removing the bones after months and months have allowed the bones to remain here even when they've been paid to remove the bones by the state because they've got a home office license. The bones still being displayed here of a victim that was buried here 700 years ago are against the human dignity of the person buried here. Okay. A little video uh, from Nash Point, which uh, hopefully you'll all enjoy as well. Nash Point. The hill fort at Nash Point. Towards the left you can see some of the ditches at Nash Point and to the right you can see the headland very much eroded and battered recently. Maybe the Archaeology Cymru Hill Fort Survey recording here was very useful in seeing the last elements of the hill fort before they are eroded into the sea. This is March 2014 hearing the waves, looking at the landscape, is truly beautiful. This is Carl James Langford reporting for Archaeology Cymru. Thank you. This is from the Archaeology Cymru conference that we had in 2014. This is the Munia, Mr. Uh, Ferris, with uh, Archaeology Cymru student Cathy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a little bit here. What is this now? What are we looking at? Oh, yeah. Yeah, see now. Yeah. 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 This next video was filmed by Bill Howells at the Hill Fort at Lantwick Major. This is Castle Ditches at Lantwick Major. It's one of seven coastal hill forts in this region. 
be behind us you can actually see the bank internally the bank itself is now being cleared the bank itself internally is 3.5 meters in height but as we stand in the ditch one of three ditches for this hill fort this ditch itself is seven maybe eight meters in depth difficult to say because it's extensively overgrown this hill fort was constructed roughly 300 years BC this site itself was one of those sites that we now understand was used as a grain store for keeping animals some people did live here the site that we see at Castle Ditch is near Lantwit Major is a site that originally was maybe up to 15 acres in area today we have a lot less than that we have well under half of that area on display at the site a multivalent hill fort this multivalent hill fort has not been excavated behind the camera in that direction would have been the entrance way on the side that faces the valley of cold hue would have been defended by three sloping terraces of alternate banks and ditches this site itself is one of those sites that will see extensive erosion into the sea but it's not as vulnerable as Nash Point the final thing that we would be able to say about this hill fort even though it's not been excavated some coins were actually found here over a hundred years ago and reported so these were coins of Emperor Carausius but with, ev with everything we like to throw in a bit of legend it's said by a historian in the 1950s a certain Stan Aubrey Stan Aubrey wrote about this site being the last departure point for Roman troops from Wales in the year 436 on that legend this is Carl James Langford reporting for Archaeology Cymru at Castle Ditches Lantwit Major in the sunny Vale of Glamorgan this is a surprise treat at the end of this uh, video this is of a burial chamber on Orkney enjoy this is the burial chamber at Woodford Woodford itself is a landscape that opens up into the endless terrain of sea and landscape there are the Orkney Islands looking at the stone you can see various carvings of people that have been here over the years even visitors have been here in the 1890s as this tomb is revealing its secrets as with many of these burial chambers they have various shapes and sizes and there are three passages very shallow passages that lead off into chambers fortunately because of light today I'm unable to enter these and to make a film but as we look at these little entranceways into the past, into this car itself, gives you an idea of understanding of the builder's nature and what they thought. 2,500 years BC, a ladder entrance into this burial chamber, which is unusual, and the slabs on top are no longer with us. But corbelling is definitely something that they allowed to happen at this site to gain a little bit of height. As we leave this burial chamber up these stairs we can see more and more of the stonework more and more of these lids of the local sandstone and as we emerge through where the lintels would have been and we look at this beautiful landscape which opens out as Colin Renfrew once wrote this burial chamber would have been for a family group the community family landscape 20 individuals would have brought their dead here 4,500 years ago. This is Carl James Langford reporting in Orkney in April 2014. Thank you for watching this little compilation today. Hopefully you've all enjoyed it and messages and so on. Let's read them. Thank you. Hopefully you look forward to the next video log which will look at unusual archaeological objects. Week of archaeology this one. Bye.